we're back in the shop again today. We're actually taking a little time to, to work on the Suburban frame. We have Austin and Morning. Brent with us Morning. today to help us. And David, he's running the camera for us. We don't have Wade today. Wade is actually out of town. He's uh, has a new grandson. That was a surprise we had when we were on the mountain camping. So today we're gonna do what we can do a little bit without him. So what we're gonna be working on is this frame and what we're trying to do is to scarf this front half off of this. And of course, we're gonna end up using this half to put on it. But before we do that, we're gonna to have to take some measurements and things. We, we gotta find some points and mark and measure so we can duplicate when we put this back together. Well, it sounds good in theory. We hope it works good. So we'll see how far we get today. See where we're at here. That is 99 three quarters. Cool. All right. Awesome. To the other side. Okay. Take a frog hair off of this one. Right there. Okay, right. that will slide now. It's supposed to go to right about the end of this. That is 133 is gonna be the wheelbase. And we got some sewing up to do and some reinforcing and reinstalling and then figure out how the engine's gonna mount and all the fun stuff now i'm happy look at that i really am happy but i'm happy with it i'm real happy i was in california a couple of days visiting my my family and a new grandson and uh, in my absence the bird got busy on the suburban frame I think we're kind of calling it the cow catcher. I don't know what its official name will be, but for now we'll just call it the cow catcher frame. And uh, Bird made some huge progress. But yes, we did make some headway on it. We got the front section removed on the frame and we grafted in this Ford one we were talking about. And it fit really good, really good. We were able to, to shoehorn it in there. We had to run some numbers on it with our tram, make sure it was square. We're really excited about this build. I was grateful to have Hank helping us out over here. And we had Austin, he was here, and Jarrett was here helping also. So our next move is we're gonna drop these spring hangers. We're gonna lower them down so we can match the right height of the front axle now. Kind of an update where we're at, it's going good. We're really happy with the build. Hank has a plan for the front end that we carved off. Oh, I have a captive audience that I preach to. Define oh, captive there you go. Yeah, automotive you class in the prison. This will be the perfect instrument. Everybody will recognize it in its current form, Hank. So, <laughs> what happened here? What are you doing? And explain. Well, this is the old cow catcher's front end. Hank's going to take this to his school. And he works with the yeah. inmates and he's going to teach them how to adjust a front end. Hank, I have to ask one more question. What in the world are you pulling this front end with? I mean, you've got yourself a three quarter ton. Chevy front end, and uh, I don't think that car even weighs three-quarter tons. Uh, that weighs two tons. It's got a lot of battery. With me in it. 
<laughs> and my toolbox. You want to see the toolbox? <laughs> no, I'll, I'll take your word for it. It throws a hole back at the car. So, well, this is fantastic. We're delighted to be able to add back and give back to the community a little bit. In this case, to help out with some people who are hey, trying to improve my, their lives. The best right. part about it is, is we don't have to worry about it now. See, oh, I, it's, it's getting I don't hauled to, off the property. It's getting out of here. Bert, what? Look over there. Like it makes any difference. Well, you know. Well, I'm glad you're thinking like that now. Trying you're to clean the place stuff. up. You're trying to clean up your act. This is a good start. <laughs> thank you, Hank. Uh -huh. And uh, thank you, Alan. Bird's been off to the happy hunting grounds again, and he <laughs> gathered up a treasure that uh, we need to know all about because it will be showing up a few times over the next upcoming weeks. Well, it's what actually. Yeah, Bird. Well, we got another 74 Bronco that we'll be working on a little bit. This one's going to be getting the frame off. And we're gonna work on the frame and chassis first on it. Now I like a good Bronco. Don't get me wrong. They have their place. But my interest lies that direction over there. <laughs> well, we working on I like a too. Pontiac better than a Bronco. Just my personal preference. That 47 over there needs to show up in the shop. Maybe we should talk about this a little bit. We'll yeah, let's it. talk about it a lot. <laughs> it's a it's a custom 500. You can tell because it's the got top, the it's more totally different. The top's more like that of an Impala Galaxy. 64. The I Galaxy, know. the Galaxy was a fastback. Turns out this car is actually they made a lot fewer of these than they did the Galaxies. <laughs> I know the story, the plans for this thing, but uh, I'm a little afraid to ask Hank to share them because they're well, pretty wild. They're pretty far out there, and I don't, I don't know if it should be admitted, but I'm going to go ahead and ask Hank. You're tell us the plan. I'm going well, to, I'm going to go out okay. there. My daughter's borrowed my. Hemi charger came back on a hook. So what I've decided to do is drop the frame out of this. We'll cut the floor out of it and we'll cut everything off of that Dodge. that don't look like a 64 Ford <laughs> and we'll set it down right over it and weld her up. You so they asked. So I, I, I know I, I was, warned you. I knew what I was stepping in when I did it. <laughs> but uh, so Hank is planning to set this body on top of a charger yes what year is the charger a 2014 2014 charger yeah. Yeah. Let me charger so yeah. five speed paddle shift what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up using that whole chassis mm -hmm. out of the charger and we're gonna graft it with the ford right we're gonna marry the two the best of both worlds you there know you it seems go. like i've heard that somewhere <laughs> someone else told you that someone before. else used that recently Didn't on we a have suburban a just yesterday <laughs> yep we got one yeah we, we married a ford front end yeah, a, there you go Chevy, to Chevy chassis, so well, now we're going to do it this way. Project. This one's yeah. coming. Not oh, next, yeah. but definitely upcoming. Okay, Bird, now for the one that has my interest, this 47 Pontiac. There you go. It's all original still. All yeah. original drivetrain in it. It's got the straight eight in it. We've had it running already. It goes, but... Uh, Let's pop the hood. But the water pumps froze up on it, and it's got a couple challenges, so... We're gonna have the to. frozen water pump on these old engines. That's very common, and it's also very common to have to drill out it's the block and get a new one in. Too. Yeah, not to mention we have to evict the rats. Well, but, rats you know, need a place to live. Yeah, we don't like them. Of course, it's a good old flathead. That's a lot of engine. Yeah, it's got eight cylinders. Mm -hmm. You know, back in the day, that was a lot. You know, so this will be a fun one to play with. It's got the old original three in the tree in the column, so. Well, this one's been in line at the bird shop for far too long, and I'm going to have to get that pitchfork out and get working on the bird <laughs> well, so that this thing gets you know, over there. Because I've told them this is a perfect car to be cruising around in with the goat, and bad weather, we could hop in here and get where we need to be without any trouble. Well, if you could figure out a way how I could retire, we would do this. Well, you just need to go retire to yourself. Living, you know, that's the problem. That is a 47 Pontiac Streamliner. Yep. That'll be a fun one. See ya, Hank. Have fun with your new trailer. Have a good one. That suburban body is sitting over here waiting to get back on that frame. I think it looks good. That's about how it'll look, I think, with its new lift job becoming a 4 by.